Oh, well, the turning point of the war has to be the Battle of Vicksburg. Vicksburg took place um, in July of 1863, so the middle of the war, and, and, and before that, as I'm sure you've already learned from your wonderful history teacher, the war wasn't going very well for the Union, and, and it really it, it stemmed on the generals. The generals weren't making great decisions, and Robert E. Lee was making them look foolish, but uh, the Battle of Vicksburg took place over the span of many days on the Mississippi River. And uh, in, in Vicksburg, that was the last southern stronghold on the Mississippi. Once we were able to, to capture Vicksburg, it was just, it, it, was, it was one of the, the last straws for the South. The, one of the last successes that they had was holding on to that river. But once we had Vicksburg, we were in control of the entire Mississippi, up and down, and there was no way that they could, they could cross without our approval, which really was able to cut a large chunk of the South away from the rest. Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, they had no access to the, uh, the, the bulk of the southern, uh, southern troops and, 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 and the government and everything. It just really sectioned them off. So that really helps. Not to mention that after the fall of Vicksburg, uh, General Sherman, that gave him the ability to march east to the sea and wreak havoc along the way. So it it's, it's clearly has to be Vicksburg. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it really started the downfall of the South. 